We're going into a house, according to the EPA, that has extensive surface mold growth and probable contamination in the entire structure. So our level of personal protection, PPE, has to increase. The first thing is a set of disposable full body coveralls. Next, a full face respirator with HEPA filtration. And then two layers of gloves that'll be sealed around the coveralls. These coveralls have a full boot that covers your shoe. What you want to remember when you purchase coveralls is to get a boot that fits your shoe that you're wearing. The other thing is you want to make sure the coveralls fit you sufficiently so that you're able to bend and move around freely and not rip the coveralls. These coveralls also have a hood for head covering. I'm going to put on the respirator next. You want to make sure that you follow proper procedures for cleaning and storage of a respirator. You can find these procedures in training manuals or at the OSHA website. It's important that you do not contaminate the respirator with used coveralls or other moldy materials. The fit of the respirator is very important. Respirators require a fit test for the person. This is again something that you want to be familiar with and learn. You need a tight seal around your face so you're not breathing in the contaminated air. The last item I'm going to put on are my gloves. In some cases, working with severe contamination or remediation, you may even want to tape your seams. 